Sup everybody, welcome back to The Dark Show. What do we have here today, ladies and gentlemen? We've got some, like, t t teenage boy uh, yelling about his uh, favourite TV series. Fuck me, dude. As of today, it is something like the 30th of October. So the first four episodes of Doctor Who Season 11 have come out. Speaking honestly, uh, speaking very bluntly. They are getting progressively worse. I'm going to speak to you very seriously because I know that you appreciate honesty. I am possibly the most honest YouTuber. Some people consider me to be the most honest YouTuber. It's <laughs> an Onision reference. The reason why I come here today, ladies and gentlemen, is to uh, bitch and moan about the fact that uh, uh, Doctor Who, um, a series that has lasted 55 years, and by all intents and purposes, should have already sorted itself out and be making constant, at the very least, mediocre episodes. Um, that's what I expect, especially considering the fact that we get less episodes for this specific season than any other season. So every episode that's fucking atrocious is just, like, it's instantly more because you have a limited amount of episodes in a season. Fuck me. Um, I'm also here to talk about Castlevania 2, a series which is a Netflix adaptation of a video game that came out in like 80, 86 or something like that. No, 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 Castlevania 3 came out in, uh, 1990. There, there, there you go, there's some fun facts for you. I know, I know all my Castlevania knowledge. I'm also very well versed in Doctor Who knowledge. But guess what? Castlevania is a good TV show that has no fucking right being as good as it is. And Doctor Who is bad. This is just talking about the first four episodes. However, when something gets worse, when something halves in quality three times over, you know, I, I just want to point it out. I just, it's just what I want to do. I just want to point it out, say, hey, what the fuck? You may be no I mean, I, I, am, I'm, I am indoors this time. I have uh, snuck into someone's house. Uh, they're not home. So, I, I, get to say, I get to say any flip words I want. My main issue with this is that The Woman Who Fell to Earth, episode 1 of season 11 of Doctor Who, uh, isn't, like, especially brilliant. It's like Mummy on the Orient Express, except no interesting ideas. It's, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty much a start-up episode. It's, it's an episode that goes like, Oh, here's an event. The, the, doc, the, doctors, the doctor says the day. And, uh, oh, ho, ho boy, ho boy, uh, would you, would, would you look at that? We're going on adventures in the TARDIS. The TARDIS doesn't appear in the first episode, but anyway, point is, it's fine. Uh, episode one's fine. Episode one's fine. See, episode two, episode two is, is, is so weird. You have, like, three villains. The guy who's hosting, like, this space race and gives out a lot of money. Um... These robots, and then these ca these carpet things, who then goes, the timeless child. And the doctor's like, I don't even know what that is. And then Chibnall's just like, huh. The point is, there are three bad guys. I, I don't even know what any of them want, except for the guy who just, who, he, he just wants a winner for his race. I think he's doing this for entertainment. Is, is there space TV? I don't know. It's really fucking confusing. It's just really a meh episode, but like more meh than episode one. It's like, just it was just a pass by episode. Like what an average fucking episode. Then episode three comes around, and it's like the Rosa Park one. Now, me, um, I'm not American. Um, I, I, I am homeless. So, I, I wasn't taught about Rosa Parks during school. Um... However, I, I, I get the gist, you know, she didn't give up a bus seat. There you go, Wh 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 whoop de fucking do However, uh, one, I don't like the fact that apparently the entirety of history changes just because this one woman doesn't give up her bus seat. N n n not true. Like, 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 like w w one person, like, doesn't make or break an entire movement. Um, unless they're like an actual leader like Martin Luther King and like like or Hitler or something like that You have to be like an actual like competent person. She, she's just a fucking woman She just was like, nah, I wanna sit down, man 
Anyhow, uh, my point is, the villain for this is some uh, space racist. Doctor meets him once, and they have a little bit of conversation. Doctor meets him again. They, they have a little bit more of a conversation, except she knows what he's up to this time. And then she's all like, oh, just you wait, mister. And then, for the third time, the Doctor doesn't meet him. Uh, one of her companions just, like, straight up, like, like kills him. Straight up, just fucking like, how far does this thing go back? Oh, you're sent to the past. And then Ryan's are like, yeah, um, I sent, I sent him as far back into the past as I could. Essentially killing him. The doctor just kind of goes like, oh, cool. And it's like, what the fuck? This doctor, like, like she says like, no, no guns. We're not going to kill people. And yet she never ever like, like punishes people. For doing the bad thing that she says not to do. Like the guy in the first episode who kicks the bad guy off the thing. She goes, you had no right to do that. And then it's fucking uh, like not brought up. It's like she disapproves of it. But you know, actions speak louder than words. You, you clearly like uh, uh, don't care. You, you don't care if someone else does it. it just, what the fuck, dude? And then episode four. Like episode three was not good. And that pop song hurt my ears. And the villain was horrible. And the whole thing is like, what, what the fuck? And then, episode 4 comes out, and it's not just bad. It's not just bad. It's... It's like, someone was watching classic Doctor Who, and saw how, um, the third Doctor died, and was all like... I could probably do a better job than that. They take the script and goes, yeah, all right, we need a filler episode. Let's fucking go, ladies and gentlemen. There is no villain. Not every episode needs a villain, but this desperately needed a villain. The spiders weren't evil. They were just fucking spiders who, because of radiation and garbage, grew really big. Um, I don't know why they, they started eating people and going really crazy, but anyway, genetically engineered spiders. Or is it fucking Spider-Man? Is he gonna be the new companion? Anyhow, then... So there's this guy who's like... He doesn't like Trump, and he's gonna run for president in the year 2020. And he's like a businessman, so he's pretty much Trump, but he's against Trump. I'm, I'm so fucking confused at his character. I hope he never comes back, but if he doesn't come back, that proves to how just how useless his character is. Because what, what he does is there's the big spider and then he goes bang, I shot a spider and then the doctor's like, oh, you, can't, you just shot the spider. The spider was already, um, uh, already uh, dying because of lack of oxygen. Why did you shoot? And then he was all like, what, is, what, what am I like? What am I like? What am I like? And so then again, someone does something that the doctor apparently disapproves of but does nothing about it like like genuinely i feel that the doctor's just all like uh, don't shoot but if you do i'm not going to do anything about it i don't really care actually so why do i hate this more than the rosa episode which insult like the rosa episode insulted me the villain just kind of like messed with time and, and then was all like ha uh, d d d d don't you worry uh, we're gonna meet again, Doctor, and then he fucking dies, and it's like, why? This one annoyed me because there wasn't even a villain, there wasn't even an issue. Apparently the spider was gonna die anyway, in this, like, guy's fucking hotel, and so apparently they just get big, and then they die, and so, like, clearly there was no issue here. Like, and also, it wasn't just this guy's fault. It was this, there's this girl who, like, worked on the radioactive spiders. And apparently, a spider was alive that she threw out. And so then that started growing really big in, in like, this, like, trash place. But it's like, what? It's, it's equally your fault. It's equally your fault. You're the mad scientist. You, you just shouldn't be messing with fucking spiders. Just stop. So, that would have been a very good lesson, where she goes like, Oh man, uh, maybe I should use uh, my, 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 my skills 
to do better for the world. She fucking doesn't. <sighs> That's fucking it. I've, all, I've, I've obviously got a lot more genuine, like, legitimate complaints. Okay, I actually ran out of recording time there. Um, anyhow, I've got four minutes to finish this off, so fuck you. Like, like, character moments are missing from season 11, and it's so shit, and I hate it, and, it, and it's fucking, fucking bullshit. Castlevania, anyhow. Um, uh, point is, Castlevania 2, Doctor Who, bad. Uh, uh, what, what, what season 9 and 10? They, they, they were the best. Uh, f f fucking see ya.